If you're gonna play in Texas, you gotta have a fiddle in the band. That lead guitar is hot, but not hard. Folks, we have had a dandy here in Austin, Texas today. And now, the fourth quarter. A five-point margin. The Horns with the lead. Second down, Roberson buys time. Couldn't spot a receiver. And he is whacked. It'll be third and long coming up as Aaron Harris comes up again. And uh, Jack, what's the situation down below with Young? Well, Brett Vincent Young went back to the tra athletic trainers. You see that tape on his right leg? Well, they taped him up, and watch what he did during the break. Checked it both, and he also checked his drop-back passing abilities. He argued with the trainers and said, I'm ready. They shook their head after this little exercise and said, I guess you are. That's amazing. Check his lucky stars, huh? That was, he's got to have uh, the longest ligaments in the world. Well, sometimes overnight. Well, stiffen up more, though, and that was an ugly look. Here's the screen. Busts into the middle. 30, 25, 20. He's got speed. Looking for the Kansas State lead. And he is out of bounds. Just short of the end zone. Man, that was a well-executed screen pass, and they finally got the ball in the hands of James Terry from Homestead, Florida, and the result, 45 yards. First time all game, Kansas State showed an empty backfield that time. They shifted Sproles out. And you watch it. Nobody back there. Just one. The quarterback throws it, takes his time, relaxes, looks to his right, and comes back to Terry on the screen. He's got the offensive lineman out in front of him, picks his way through, and then right at the end, he almost loses it. In fact, the ball ends up behind his back on this. Whoa, whoa! Right at the end of the play. Man, is he lucky to get out of bounds with yep. control of that football. Right straight ahead. Touchdown! K-State leads. L. Roberson kept the ball and took it in for the touchdown. I'm sure Kansas State will go for two on this, so keep your eyes open. Well, the quarterback didn't sneak, didn't work on fourth and inches, but it kind of caught Texas off guard that time. Came up and quick snapped it. Very quickly, look at Texas was barely ready that time. Gets it into the end zone and falls across the line. Roberson has settled in after a slow start in this game. He's now scored a pair of touchdowns here in this comeback bid in the no, second they half. They do not have enough players. They and timeout is called. That's the kind of detail that will infuriate a coach like Bill Snyder. Timeout. Lead in this game, Gary. What do you think turned it around? I think it's that been that defensive line for Kansas State. They have just attacked and attacked, stopped the running game, and pressured both of the quarterbacks. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. They lead it by one. Option look. Roberson's got it. Walked in. So that puts them on a three. 2017. No surprise coming here when Roberson hauls it out to the right-hand side. Path is clear. He turns it up with a good clearing block. I'm out. A lot of folks on the inside watching football, and they probably wonder, where has Selvin Young been? Well, remember, we said at the top of the broadcast that he hopes to contribute, but clearly he has not been cleared medically because he has already returned one kickoff for a touchdown this year. He would be on the field, and he's been over there on the exercise bike working out all day long. Giger coming out from the one. 15. About the 22-yard line, and now it'll be up to Texas. It is interesting to watch. I mean, it looks like Kansas State is defeating every one-on-one -on -one battle on the field right now. And Vince Young, after that sprained ankle with the helmet on, taped up, is coming back on the field. It's interesting, when I talked to Bill Snyder this week, Brent, I asked him, what one guy would you like to stop and take out of the game? And he said, Chance Monk, Fox. Look who's in the game. Now, the other guy, maybe you might want that wish back. They fake the bench in hard left. Throw, battle for it, and penalty interference. 
interference. Johnson is interfered with by Jordan. And Jordan's having a tough day on the corner. Watch this. One on one. E.J. Johnson, a technician at receiver, comeback route, ball is thrown very well, comes across, but it was his left hand. Nice quick throw by Vincent Young, not a lot of wasted motion on the play. Gets hit by Hickman on that play, but I think it was Randy Jordan's left hand that was holding on to B.J., and that's why he got called. One tackle spot for the Longhorns. First down and ten. Slot is off to Vincent's right. Option, sprinting, showing no signs of a sprained ankle. And he has run out of bounds on the far side by McGill. Well, let's get an update on today's singular wireless poll. Which of next week's games will be the best? And the audience is saying 44% Miami, Florida State, 31% Oklahoma, Texas. And uh, you folks that voted Louisiana Monroe and Louisiana Lafayette just order up another cool. <laughs> Second down now. Brad, let me talk about Vincent Young, though. You said he doesn't show any signs of an ankle. It may be okay. Straight ahead speed. But I doubt if he has that lateral movement he had before the ankle. If I was Kansas State, I wouldn't mind if he carried the ball right now. I'd say, can you beat us with the pass? Because I don't think he can beat you with the legs anymore. Second and six. Let's see what the Horns want here. He's pulling out. Running hard. Gets it off. Incomplete. Threw it away wisely. Couldn't get enough on it. Roy Williams, he was pressured by Houchin. Well, you can see also, Texas's game plan, they don't feel they can block the pass rush from Kansas State. That's why Vincent Young is in the game. He threw a bootleg pass on first down. He scrambles out wide there on second down. They don't like the matchup inside. They have not protected the passer. So look what they do. They're going to just give up on blocking in the packet. And they roll out. Nobody to throw to. And Vincent Young doesn't have quite the ability he had before the ankle. Third down for Young. Roy Williams goes off to the right. Cedric Williams is the corner off to the right. Vincent looks down middle, got Roy open. Ducks at the 30-yard line. Roy Williams drops it from the breadbasket. My, oh, my. Your playmaker coughed it up. Can't throw it any better than this. Third, eight yards to go, stays in the pocket, good protection, zips it, throws it, hits the four, and he coughs it up. A costly drop by number McGee four, Young to the sideline, and McGee. Hangs it up with Sproles back again, and a fair catch at the 28-yard line. So it'll be Kansas State ball. They've got the football. They've got the lead. 13-21 left. In the Big 12 Conference, since it was founded, then Bill Snyder and Kansas State. First down and 10. Inside hand off to Sproles. He runs the daylight in the middle. And the quick one takes it for a first down to the 43-yard line with Giger making the stop. When you have a running quarterback, the linebackers have to be ready for the running quarterback. Watch, they're going to fake the Sproles right here. Watch what happens. Two guys outside waiting for the court. Look at these two guys right here. Linebacker defensive ending ready for number three, L. Roberson. That opens up the play inside for the running back. Man, are they missing middle linebackers in Texas. First down and ten. Same play, and this time the tackles jam the front. So we're at the bottom of the hour we've had two halves and two very different halves and they have defined this football game 17 3 texas at the intermission they've been held scoreless here in the second half and it is kansas state putting up the 17 points and they now lead it 2017 with 12 and a half minutes to go 60 yards total offense for texas in the second half four wide 
Draw play, Sproles middle, fumble! Roberson's got it. L. Roberson, the quarterback, saved the day for K-State at the 39-yard line. Roberson said, man, I'll take it. <laughs> Little draw play, remember we talked about it. Darren Sproles, up to find on these draw plays. Gets behind his offensive line. This time the ball, I think it was Kyle Thornton, Kalen Thornton, number 43, put his hand right on the football and popped it loose. Kansas State now has switched to a little more experience at that wide out with Antoine Polite, number two, out on the field, along with Terry who breaks the huddle, and number 15, Davin Dennis. This is the formation they ran the wide receiver screen out of. Roberson to take off, short of the first down. K-State must punt with 11 and a half minutes to go. Robinson and Sinline as Robinson back on the field. Let's take a look now at our Chrysler passing playbook. Well, the biggest pass play of the game so far by Kansas State has been a simple pass. The slip screen to the wide receiver. The linemen get downfield because the wide receiver catches the ball behind the line of scrimmage. College ball, you can throw a forward pass behind the line of scrimmage, and Kansas State does it perfectly. Now it's up to Jared Bright to try and seal the horns up. for the loose ball at the 20-yard line. It's still loose. Kansas State indicates they've got it. Nathan Fasher bobbling the ball, and K-State recovers. Coming out of there with it was Russ Vanover, the long snapper, who got down the field. And now, what a critical, critical time this is for the Horn. All the punts going from left to right have been short. This time, Vassar is there to make the play. He doesn't let it run, but he just bobbles it. Easy catch, and instead of falling on it like he should have, he tried to pick it up one more time, and the pursuit cost him a turnover. You'll see it. He fumbles it. Now just fall on it. Just fall on it. Don't pick it. Then too late. Vanover pursuing gets the turnover. Now L. Roberson. Trying to get his shoulders turned. Oh, is he elusive. You Man, bet. after he gets touched, he'll still pick up four more yards. And finally, Harris brings him down just shy of the 15-yard line. And now, K-State going for the juggler. They're up three. 10, 23 to go now. Against Marshall two weeks ago, Sproles only carried the ball 17 times for 77 yards. Today, 23 attempts, 127 yards. The game changed, I believe, when they decided to run that ISO play right at Texas. Second down. Here comes that option look, and Ellis going to keep it himself. And he bobbled the ball over in the far corner, and Texas has got it. L. Roberson's fumble, and it is recovered by the Longhorns, and that may have saved the day for them. Giger was over there, number 22. He's played a great game at safety. Watch him come over. Roberson gets hit from behind. Ball is knocked free by Giger, who was hanging on. Texas came with their nickel package that time against the option. Kansas State had the perfect play on, but fumbles happened from behind on option quarterbacks, and Giger from behind caused the turnover. I posed the question to Mac Brown yesterday. If you're in a crisis this week or next, what will you do at quarterback? He said, I don't have to make the decision, yet he chuckled. He's made it. Vince Young, wrapped ankle and all, is on the field on a quarterback keeper out to the 17-yard line. A reminder tomorrow, Tiger Woods in the field of the PGA Tour's best competed the World Golf Championships, American Express Championship. So that is tomorrow at 1.30 Eastern, and Tiger Woods will take a two-shot lead into the final round at 1.30 Eastern. You know, as much as you try to manage quarterbacks to keep the fans off your back, it's impossible. Somebody's going to have a good game or a good series, and then you got to go with the, rat, the hot hand, and all of a sudden the fans are going to get involved. You don't think... Talk radio is going to be lighting it up for this guy. On the end of round, it's Roy Williams. Cut off. Now he's got the corner of the At the 25-yard line, it was Washington again.
And uh, that's a first down. Roy Williams did a good run. And uh, Jack, I'm sure the two quarterbacks were communicating on the sidelines. Well, they are in also this man and the quarterback, Vincent Young and Roy Williams. When they were off, while they watched their Longhorn defense, Young went, sauntered up to Roy Williams and gave a, what looked to me like a little bit of an apology. Roy Williams then got together. They said, look, we can win this game. They said, it's a we situation. And then Vince Young walked away, put his helmet on, said, well, let's go. Inside handoff, he keeps it. Young with a beautiful ball fake to the 35-yard line, going for the first down, and he did not show me any ill effects of that angle. This is the exact running game that Marshall ripped the Kansas State defense for. They ran for over 200 yards from shotgun, the quarterback keeping the ball and running, and uh, straight ahead, he looks like he's still 4-5, four, 4-4 four, four speed. Williams comes to the sideline and Tony Jeffrey checks in at wide receiver. They have the very dangerous Johnson slotted over to the right. They might be able to get a safety on him. First down and 10 now for Young. Young pulls out. Gonna go deep. And pulled down by Jeffrey who just checked in. What a phenomenal catch by number 12 who scored the Longhorns' first touchdown on a block punt. Now he makes the circus catch. Two times in this game, it's just been throw it long and let your athlete beat their athlete. That's exactly what happened here. Tony Jeffrey, a high school quarterback, great ball skills. He holds on the field goals at extra points, and this time, the ball's up in the air. Great coverage by Cedric Williams, but Jeffrey makes the play. The Horns with a first down at the 13-yard line. Cedric Benson is the running back. The sideline trying to quiet the crowd now so the Horns can hear the cadence. Option look, Young cuts it up to the 10-yard line, and it'll be second down. A field goal, if they stall out here, a field goal would still tie the game at 20. And so I'm sure that the Texas coaching staff has already got Mangum warming up just in case. Obviously, they want to take it on in for the touchdown. But if they stall out, they want to get out of here with at least a tie. And we've got a timeout has been called by the Longhorns. Second down is coming up when we come back. Nobody is leaving this one. Second down now. Vince Young. Ankle injury all within striking distance. The Horns trail Kansas State by a field goal. Vince into the middle. Pops it through to the two-yard line. And very close, I believe, to a first down. Washington, the defender over there. And that's what it is. It'll be first and goal. Well, handed to the Texas offensive line on that play. They've been getting slightly embarrassed all game in pass protection, but on that one, dialed it up. Mac Brown called a timeout, challenged his offensive lineman, and ran Cedric Benson on an isolation play right up the gut to get the first down. Thomas, the tight end, is strong to the left side. Young keeps it straight ahead, throws his way toward that end zone. Second down and goal coming up. What a turn of events. Back-to-back -back turnovers. Throw the ball up deep. Jeffrey makes the catch. And all of a sudden, you're in a position to take the lead in this football game. Jeffrey, you know, he helped with that momentum change, with that great catch. He, too, is from the Houston area out of Klein Forest High School, where he was a quarterback. Young out of Madison High. There's the combination. What a whale of a game Jeffrey's had here today. Second down and goal. Maybe Young might want to think about the same play. Oh, He's got it. He picked it back up. But mishandle on the snap. He put a receiver, Vincent did, in motion that time and then forgot that he put the receiver in motion. And I think that's what discombobulated the play. Now what do you do? Do you put it back in 10's hands, or do you use 32 here? Well, either way, or you can run the option play to the outside where you get 32 or 10 on the play. Well, Benson is behind. Dive for the end zone. No signal. Nope. 
And no signal, just short. Isolation play, taken on, a lead. The ball never crosses the line that time. Now what do you do? by Kansas State. Now what do you do? That's why Matt makes a million and a half dollars a year right here. He just Man, this, you're earning your cash yeah. here. They're going to go for they're it. They're showing. They're going to just go right straight ahead with the quarterback if they're going to do it. He's passing up the field goal on fourth and inches. He's got fourth and inches. Young, uh, a little bit slow coming out of that huddle right now. They're starting the 25 second clock again. Five and a half minutes to go. This is shades of Dom Capers with the Houston Texans at the end of that game. Instead of going into overtime in about this same situation, he beat Jacksonville. Down in Houston with it. Here it is. Fourth and inches now. The Young's going ahead for it. And he's got it. Vincent Young, injured ankle and all, has now rushed for a touchdown in each of the last four games, and I believe there may be a new number one in Austin. not overlook what Giger did when he came in behind Roberson and forced the fumble that set this up. It was the turnover that allowed Young and Jeffrey to work their magic. And now Texas has taken a three-point lead. Vasher fumbles a punt and Giger gets it right back. Mangum to make it four. Vince Young takes it himself. He reached it out just like David Carr did. Right at the end, he stuck his hands out, six foot five. Watch him reach the ball. That's what really got the ball across because if he wasn't six five, I don't think that push was going to get him into there for the quarterback sneak touchdown. Now it's K State's turn. They've been victimized by three turnovers here today. They still have a couple of timeouts left. They have converted on only one third down, Kansas State has. Keep that set in mind. That, that screen pass to Terry, that big game for 45 yards. That's the only conversion on third down for K State in this game. But they have outgained Texas 290 to 289. But they haven't been able to stop Vince Young. And the Big 12 is underway, and it just doesn't get any better. And what we've seen here this afternoon, and there is more to come tonight. Texas A&M and Texas Tech. What a dandy that figures to be. I'm sure players from both sides are watching this one. They'll take a knee, bring it out now. We check in on the Pacific Life game summary here this afternoon. Here's Terry, the only time they've converted a third down. And Roberson put him ahead. And then Jeffrey, the former quarterback with the circus catch. And on fourth and inches, they jump for the score. Folks, I've never heard Austin any louder than it is right now. This is what you got to love if you're L. Roberson right now. You put a lot of work in to be a senior and have an opportunity to win a game on the road like this against 70,000 people in one of college football's greatest historical teams. Option coming toward us. Pitch the Spurs. Cut off. Force back. Not much doing on that play. It's this aggressive defense led by Marcus Tubbs. And Reed Boyd. Marcus Tubbs has shed weight this year. He's been all over this field. Big man, over 310, 20 pounds. 
He doesn't even want to go out. Like, they want to rest him? No. He said, I'm finishing this one. He came across the line of scrimmage. Roderick Wright made the initial contact, and here it is. They've converted only one third down all game, and now they face another one. They're only one of ten. Texas trying to dig in. Four twenty. They want the ball back. The two defensive tackles make back-to-back -back big plays for Texas. It's like Casey Hampton and Rogers, Sean Rogers. The two big guys are making the plays inside. Three wide for Roberson. They'll put it up and attempt to get the first down. Crossing dropped. Terry couldn't hang on. He was underneath the first down marker anyway. Vasher, who's done a fabulous job on him all day, was right there. And now Vasher will go back, and I'm sure he's saying to himself, this time, I won't give the punt back. You're right. Vasher goes the wide side this time. He knows it's third and long. He doesn't go underneath the coverage. Terry drops it, but he would not have picked up the first down. Aaron Harris is the rush man for Texas. Outside left. They set the return. A wobble. Vasher fair catch. Got it. At the 41-yard line. Well, folks, it's that time of day when we show you the mad moment of this game, and here we go. This was the play. Vincent Young, we thought he was gone for the rest of the game. But he came back. Superman-like, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> Found himself a phone booth over here. Got that ankle taped up and run it back. First down and 10 now. Young still on the field. Here's Benson. Still plenty of time. Kansas State defense needs to stop. Might be able to give up one first down, but if you give up two first downs, it might be ball game. I want to ask George Hill for how many timeouts there are remaining. There it is right there. Thanks, George. Two apiece now. We can stop the clock, 3.33. Thanks to our help up here in the booth today, man. The Yankee, the booth manager up here is happy. Roger Clemens wins a game. The Yankees now lead the Twins, 2-1 in that series. Brian Mobleson very sad. His Giants got knocked out by the Marlins today. He's been doing the spotting up here. Second down now. There's the hand up whistle. Uh, whistle sounded. Texas flinched that time. I think it was the wide receiver. Prior to snap, ball start offense. Five yards. And of course, time Replay. permitting, we'll have the thrifty post-game report. John, Terry, and Craig. Looked like the guys were having a lot of fun at halftime today, and uh, why not? A lot of great stories in uh, college football. Next week, probably the biggest Saturday in recent memory. We've got, of course, Oklahoma, Texas, and Dallas. And then the big one at high noon, unbeaten Miami and Florida State collide in Tallahassee. Confusion again. Second down, and uh, now Williams goes off to the left side of the formation. Young is back in the shotgun. Keeper all the way. Tackled from behind hard at the 41-yard line by Scott Edmonds. Yeah, you could almost tell Roy Williams had no idea what the play was. He just flanked out. Somebody just said, get out there. We're running a quarterback draw. It doesn't make any difference. Just flank out wide. Interesting call here for Texas. You don't want to allow a young quarterback to get you beat late in the game. Do you do a run, another running play? Do you let him throw deep? If something happens deep, no big deal. Third down and 10. And they stay desperate timeout. to hang on here, and they're going to call a timeout. So a timeout with Texas leading by four, 24-20 on a late touchdown. Remember, up in Manhattan a year ago. So just when it looked like Kansas State was about to deliver the shotgun punch, watch number 22, eager for the horns, get in behind Roberson. Watch right there. He forces the fumble. Recovered. 
What a play by number 22. The defensive play of the game, and that set up the go-ahead drive. And uh, a thanks, you know, the SIDs of these two schools gave us a lot of help this week. Kansas State, Gary Bowman, who's here. And in Texas, it don't get any better than John Bianco. And, and he brought up Bill Little to pick up the checks for dinner the other night. So we want to thank both Bill yeah. and John Bowman. You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about getting fed when you come to Texas, do you? No, the last Dodge, the athletic director, he took care of us last night out there, that wonderful barbecue. Well, Lima's still trying to get the ball back. There's Mad Dog. Plenty of time left in this football game if you're Kansas State. You know, if you get it back again, it's four down territory, no matter where you have the ball. That's Mad Dog Madden, folks. He's the strength and conditioning coach here, and he can put on quite a show himself with those weights over there in the weight room. He'll have this bunch ready for Oklahoma. Look at him. He's getting his linemen's face in there right now. Convincing Young do it again. He's already pulled off three miracles on third down. Now he's got third and long again. Well, the one thing he doesn't want to do yeah. is a pull turn over here. Right. I mean, he, you don't want to give it to him when you've got a pretty good That's player. what I say. Either, either run the ball or throw the ball very deep. That would be my two calls. Vincent Young, the freshman from Houston. High percentage pass to Robin, the running back, and Robin to the 45-yard line. It'll be fourth down from there, and it sets up a punt as Hickman, the linebacker out of Mesquite. Well, you can see just exactly what we were talking about. There's no way the Texas coaches were going to allow Vincent Young to beat him with a bad play late in the game. Trust your defense, put the ball, and see if the Texas can stop him. That's an offensive tackle there for Texas, Jonathan Scott, who limped out after the touchdown play. Timeout has been used, which reduces K-State now to they have one left. And they'll get the ball back following the punt. Now remember, they came right clean on their punt block. They came right up the middle with Washington. And I'm sure that if ever there was a time when Belima and the Wildcats wanted a second one, it is right now. Washington number two coming out with the punt block team here. Meanwhile, over the Texas sideline, they're talking about it to the freshman Richmond McGee. Number 35. And Sproles is deep again. Eight across that front. They were coming. They didn't get there, and McGee. Fair catch by Sproles inside the 15-yard line. A beautiful punt by Richmond McGee. And the freshman down the field with his coverage unit. He had a big leg today, despite that one that was blocked. And he couldn't prevent it out. They just let somebody come free right in the middle. Now the Wildcats. One. 48 to go. Welcome those of you who watched Maryland win here today. It's 24-20. Maryland wins 21-7. First down, Kansas State. 148. They've got one timeout to go. L. Roberson in the gun. Fires. No, incomplete. Intended for Terry, and Bachelor has been like a blanket on him all game long for the Horns. What a job number three has done. Well, that's the defense for Texas. You see it every play. They play bump and run to the outside. They keep a safety in the middle, and they tell their defensive backs to run with them, force a perfect pass, and obviously that was not a perfect pass. Second down. Drop at the 20 yard line, and it'll be third down coming up. Brian Casey, the tight end that time, is the guy coming across, covered by Griffin. I don't know if Cedric Griffin got a hand on it or not. Ball was again slightly behind. Now it just completely dropped. Middle screen to Terry, and not this time. Basher was ready for it. 
and comes in at the ankles. He was burned on it earlier, but the corner from Texarkana, Texas, comes up big at money time. Marrera, number 10, the receiver, missed his block on the play. He's the one that's supposed to clean Flat Basher off the play. Basher ran right back by number 10 and made the play. They've got to go for it on fourth down inside the 20-yard line. One minute to go here. Roberson fires, incomplete Texas football. Texas football at the 19, and they'll win it. I don't know if that ball got tipped or not. Something had to happen. That ball was thrown. Seconds are going to tick away from this baby. And Vincent Young has an incredible performance as he comes off the Longhorn bench. Boy, that was badly, badly thrown. I don't know if the ball got tipped as he was throwing it from behind just before he let it go. The big question for me now, Brent, is will Vincent Young be ready next week? He is limping very badly. John, what about Michigan? Let's send you quickly to New York. Well, Brandon, it looked like it was done for Michigan until John Navarre leads it back again. The key here, look at the protection. Throws this one to the end zone where Braylon Edwards is there to make the grab. And now it's just a three-point game with plenty of time left. So that one's still unfolding in Iowa City. Here we went right down to the wire until Texas closed it off. Vincent Young can barely finish the game. His ankle's so bad right now. Just a courageous performance, and he's one of our Chevrolet players of the game. Vince Young and Darren Sproles of K-State in recognition of their effort. Chevrolet makes a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. So, Texas survives. Texas finds a quarterback, but Texas has a quarterback who's hurt. Very, very interesting with Oklahoma coming to Dallas to play the Red River shootout one week from now. Final 15. Texas wins it, but folks, it was not easy. This was a gutty performance by Kansas State off a 17-3 canvas at the intermission. They put up 17 unanswered, and they were going in for more when Giger forced a fumble, and Vince Young, taped ankle and all, came back to lead Texas for an incredible victory here today. The good news is for Mac Brown, you come back and you win a game and you're tough. The bad news is... You better get ready for the Sooners. They'll be in Dallas next. It's 24-20. It's Texas beating Kansas State. We send you to New York now. John Saunders. Take it away, John.